All right, guys, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you for listening or watching if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. Felt like that needed to be said. And it needs to be done. There we go. <laughs> if you're listening or watching, you need to be subscribed. All right, I hate to hop on this train like so late. So but I, I've early. A, I've a, Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's pretty early. You only introed, and now we're on our first topic. So you're hopping no, on. No, the train early. he's getting on. Is yeah, late. I was gonna tell. Oh, him. you're late to getting on this train. What train? I don't know. Wait, Explain. Wait. Don't take it so literal, Mike. God, um, it's too early to piss me off in this podcast. <laughs> it is too early. That's what I thought. All right. Anyway, hopping on this train late. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> God the, damn it. the Andrew Tate train. I, I think we, talk I think we might be the last podcast on the entire platform to not talk about him yet, but I have a funny story and I didn't, I felt like everyone was talking about him and like what more value add could we have to it? But my dad pulls through. <laughs> I'm Is Jason, the top, the oh top G, goodness. a high value man. Yeah. The so, other day, um, my dad comes up to me and he's like, Hey, I got a really good podcast you should listen to. And I'm like, okay. He loves podcasts, listens to podcasts more than anyone I ever know, except for he doesn't finish them because he'll start it and fall asleep. Like he's probably already sleeping listening to this podcast <laughs> right now. So I go, okay, what, what, uh, what's it about? And he goes, this guy, uh, I think he's the creator of, of the fans only thing um, with the women and just makes a shitload of money. Uh, and he's like super into Bitcoin because there's like a Bitcoin podcast and, um, more like financial versus everything else Andrew Tate's about. Mm -hmm. But knowing the guy and listening to the guy, I'm sure he was just saying the most out-of-pocket shit, even on a finance podcast, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> Women should not hold Bitcoin. <laughs> they will lose their wallet keys, all this shit, right? And so I'm like, the founder of of uh, fans? Are you talking about only fans? Yeah, yeah. This guy... Um, super worldly he's like got all these different citizenships and and thinks like bitcoin's the future i go you're talking about andrew tate and he's like yeah that's him and i'm like what'd you think of him because he's so polarizing right and he goes i thought he had a lot of great points i was like what podcast did you listen to him on and he told me like the like the finance podcast and i was like what else did he say on it <laughs> he was like Oh, he started, he said a lot of out of pocket shit, but, um, <laughs> as always, but as for the Bitcoin side of things, I thought it was super interesting. And he was like, yeah, I think he's got a great point. He's, you know, he's, he's got all these citizenships and he's bouncing all over. I'm like, dad, I think he has all these citizenships. Cause he's like evading, like going to prison <laughs> and in a bunch of different countries. <laughs> Literally dude. I was just say, I can't believe you described Andrew Tate as worldly. <laughs> <laughs> the dude is pretty worldly. I, I mean, is. he's like an American citizen, but yeah. Yeah, he was born in America, but he lives in Romania and he's doing all these different things. But if you ask a bunch of different people, I think it's because he's like avoiding going to prison in certain places. Then again, I could be totally wrong. I have yeah, no so idea. So where did he get that accent? That's the other like, thing. It's just he has a weird accent that I've never heard anyone have ever. I think that's like what happens when you have like such an opinion <laughs> on the oh, most, top G. The yeah, most outlandish shit. He you was? just you just start speaking that way, like you form your mm -hmm. own accent. Mike, that could be. Aren't you like a major Andrew Tate fan? You were before he was getting so criticized. You said, "I think he's so smart and has all these good points," and I agree completely with everything you, he does. And says. C, <laughs> CJ's like, you heard that in your dreams. No, I think he makes a lot of great points, but I think dude is a clown. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, just watch this like Coffee Zilla video, uh, Zilla video, whatever. He outs him for his classic like get rich quick scheme, which so many people have done. And get rich quick scheme usually just involves getting more people in to teach other people to get rich quick. Blah blah blah. But he has a hundred and some a hundred and one thousand um, monthly subscribers. Right at the time that he made this video, which was Damn. a long ago, and it's fifty dollars a month. Oh, he made it Do a month the math. ago? Uh, bro, I bet he's up way more now. No, like, like, just how much I, that just up. was his his recent, um, his last month had 101,000 subscribers. Yeah, I think he was bringing at in like $50 five, a month. That's like five, $5 million. Four, yeah, $5 million a month uh, just off of that. Like, what a joke. Dude's making cash. He's making cash. No doubt cash. about that. I, I'm just, it's just funny because it's like he goes through the class and he's like, yep, this is just like any other one. They're basically, him and his brother will get on there and like clown you if you 
unsubscribe from this monthly subscription. Oh, wow. No joke. Yep. You're uh, basically in jail. So you're in jail. You're going to be, uh, if oh, you try brokey. to resubscribe, we're not going to show you the information that you missed. And they're just, just like, what it's just fuck? the wackest thing. I can't believe people sign up for it. <clears throat> Nonetheless, polarizing and entertaining. The I dude is one of the most entertaining people in current events right now. He is. I feel like uh, when you're listening to him, it's like listening to a really like drunk guy at the bar. <laughs> like yeah. he's like, say drunk guy at the yeah. bar is just spewing off about something. And you're like, all right, man. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. And then he'll hit one thing that is just completely false or out, not true or like out of line. And you go, eh, okay. <laughs> but you keep listening more and he goes, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess well, you're not totally wrong about whatever you're spewing on about. And then I'll say another thing. And you're just like, oh. Or he'll say something really out of pocket like that and then say something that's really obvious. I don't know. Like, oh, no, but I think women should still, like, I, I believe in love and a relationship and all this. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah. And then it, like, dra drags you back in and then says something out of pocket again. Brian, mm -hmm. you must really hate the guy because you, hate, you seem to not like people with, like, strong opinions. What? That's a little Did, broad. Didn't you say, like, opinions mean nothing? I... Could have. I say a lot of things, but we, we'll, we'll, I, I don't know. I guess I bring could, me back to this mo moment of what you're trying to say before I say no. I just feel like you don't like people that are like strongly opinionated on certain things. I guess I don't like assholes. Yeah, but like more. That's normally more because people that are super strongly opinionated on one subject are wrong. Okay, exactly. Okay, that's be my point. You don't like. People that are strongly opinionated or or feel strongly about a certain subject. Or I don't like people that are wrong. Like, okay, let's go. I mean, wrong in your opinion. <laughs> no. What? I mean, no. Well, how, why are they wrong then? Let's say Buddy really loves Chevy. Okay, he's just a, a, a fucking Chevy guy. And like I Evan. don't dislike, dislike him Chev. for liking Chevy, because I do, but... If he goes on and then he starts being like, Chevy is factually the best truck ever made on the planet, I'll be like, no, it, that's not true. And then I'll just kind of be like, all right, this guy is clowning. Okay. I'm but, trying to get what you're. But that's like what Andrew Tate would do. Like he would be, he would say like all these different facts that might not be like facts, but in his opinion, facts. And you would say, those aren't facts. You're wrong. Right. So because he is wrong. I'm right. saying that I don't like when people are so delusional that they think they are right about everything. Right, I, and I don't know right. what we're getting. Like, clearly, I don't think Ryan would like Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah, no, or, I don't think we'd story. be homies. <laughs> no, okay. So, what is your opinion on him then? I think he makes a lot of great points, but I think he's kind of a clown. Like, I try to look at people like him, like he's just an entertainer. He's just entertaining. He goes on the Nelk Boys podcast. It's entertaining. They love him. They love when he clowns on Steiny. Like, they just love all of it. And I'm like, this is entertaining. No more, no less. Why like the dude, bother? the dude isn't like a mentor. I would never look up to guy as a mentor. Well, he's got a massive cult following. He does. I'm sure we'll get shit on so for do, even saying that like, because like so does Danny Duncan, and I don't look up to him as a mentor. Obviously, he's not trying to be a mentor, but like cult following for sure. I don't know, man. The way that he like persuades people into thinking that he's like it's crazy. He is the top G. Like he is God. Yeah, like in these crazy. people's eyes, like they are like delusional. He's like creating people that ryan would just despise I'm, I'm a little confused where this is coming from i i'm down for an explanation i'm just confused at where this is coming from i think the people he creates are just going to be a large group of idiots that's what i mean I he might gonna, have like semi-decent large, <laughs> large fans he might have semi-decent ways of going about it but he will just create a bunch of assholes underneath him that have no moral compass or no compass at all in it. And they just will just start to think they're right about everything and just go off and be douchebags. I don't know why you're looking at me and laughing. Yeah, at this. I don't. Like, and I'm, no, I'm so I, confused. I, at I how, agree. Well, we got, I kind of got our point across. I'm surprised that like CJ doesn't have more to say about him for, for right Dude, when he started popping really off. Any I thought you like would like be in love with him. You thought I would like him. I did. I genuinely did. Yeah. Like all the things he says about like, Women, what? <laughs> no, that's not particularly why. But yeah, I thought you'd be very enthralled with Andrew Tate. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Honestly, Clearly. I had a hard time paying attention to the Nelk podcast with him. I just thought it was kind of boring. I didn't even watch I, it. I, uh, I don't know. I, 
I guess I can appreciate someone who's uh, standing their ground when everyone's going against them. But otherwise, I just thought, and I, I agree with Ryan. You had a couple pretty decent like points that we were like, okay, that's basic logic. Right. Mm-hmm. Or but then he would say shit, and I was just like, dude, like you just lost everything that you were just saying. And yeah, I don't know. I I think that he's just a clown, like you guys are saying. Uh, obviously, he's done really well for himself, but it seems like he's just scammed a bunch of people out of money. The people that look up to him are just like loser wannabe versions of him. Like they're never ever gonna actually make shit ton of money following his advice, right? Or, or what? Or like be what they want to be. Like they're just a like, follower. What I worry about is that, aka all the the people he's trying to mentor, the followers. They're like, what if they turn into an exact version of him? No copy, possible way. Copy, no, but I'm saying copy everything he says as his far persona. as mindset, his persona, without the money and, and the clout, and Bro. you know. That's bad, dude. People are just going to be assholes. That's they what don't I mean. even have money. Yeah, like, the world would be a very, very bad place. Can you imagine the guy working at the gas station with has that and persona energy. and that fucking attitude? You'd yeah, just be just like, be, dude, every person you ran into would be so frustrating. Yeah. I know. I, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get you to say that, though. I did like, How much you hate. Whatever. Never mind. Where is it for? Yeah, <laughs> Big it. Ken's You're barbecue right and place. foot massage. You are at the right place. My my new rear bumper just showed up. And oh the, shit! And it's addressed to Big they, Ken's barbecue and foot no, massage. No, they, so like they typed in the address and it's a business name here. Right. The business name is Big Ken's barbecue and foot massage because some kid right. put that in as Google Business and Ken can't change it. So the lady calls me. <laughs> Cause it's, it's a, you know, the bumper, it's like a big package. So they need someone to sign for it. And she goes, okay, so will you guys be at your office tomorrow around 12 o'clock like noon yep, sometime? Yep. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll be there. Some of you And okay. And last question, it's going to, uh, big Ken's <laughs> barbecue and foot massage. Uh, yes, yes. Correct. All right. It's well, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow. The best part about that is, is that we didn't come up with that, but yeah, I like a kid, I don't that's know, so fan. funny, dude. And I think that's that so in. like clean, too. funny too. It's not any like it's not derogatory. Like right. foot massage and barbecue, you know, yeah. just two things that you do with your hands Cans, that go hand and in hand. Barbecue foot massage. So they put that in on Google Businesses. I don't know how that works because like he couldn't have been the only one to do that. And I then think in, if it's not claimed, like, you can, right? And so he just like it's too late now. Pin, our he, location. We he have pinpointed to shop. the shop and then put that in there. Thought it was funny because it is. And then Ken tries to get it removed and get our actual business name on there. Actually, he just tried to get it removed. But I was like, well, you might as well just put CYCV on it. But couldn't do it. Google's like, sorry, this is the business name now. Speaking of Ken, dude's kind of had a rough go go around the past two days. Apparently, he's (laughs) sick, bro. Yeah, apparently, he's got COVID. (laughs) He's got COVID. (laughs) Dude, that's not even real. It's not not funny that someone has COVID. But Ken... Apparently thinks he has COVID. It's not funny that Ken's not a kind of guy. Like Ken doesn't really get sick very much, honestly. He does. He's always puffing he on other people's vapes. Okay. If something's if anything, going around, he, that's Ken's how he getting got it, it, dude. Yeah. Because he went to Wii Fest every was single puffing time. Puffing on vapes with a bunch of people. <laughs> every, have any, like, yeah. Dude, to be honest though, like I, I'll just out myself. Like I do the same thing, bro. I just yeah. think he's got a weak immune system or something. I don't know. I feel like when Ken gets sick, it's only for like a day or two. Like that dude pops right up. Ken That's true. always gets yeah, sick when, first though. Whenever Ken, yeah, whenever it Ken always gets sick, like, he pulls first. out quick. He's like, he's bedridden for two days and then he's back. But he'll be like sitting there laying in bed, like drinking a beer and shit. Like <laughs> nah. I, I can't do that. Nah, I don't and he's think still he's... puffing on vape shit. Dude, I, I don't see him Hey, hold up. Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Not in bed. Has anyone but verified like... that Ken's actually sick or do you think that he just wanted no. to take a half day yesterday and then just <laughs> skip today? He's pretty mad because obviously he got a brand new Tesla. We coerced, well, more so Ben coerced him, in, uh, and Ryan, I'll say Ben and Ryan, coerced him into towing my wakeboard boat, which is roughly, let's just say seven to 7,500 pounds, the, the dry, test, dry weight. It, it probably was around 8,000 pounds, this you know, boat. It's, no, Large, no. it's like a 24-foot wakeboard boat. It's heavy. Um, and Ken's Tesla has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. And a tongue weight capacity of 500 foot, like 500 pounds. I have no on. idea how that thing didn't break. I thought the trailer was going to snap, fall off, just hit, and like the bottom part was going to be all like scuffed. Or I just figured at the worst, we'd just have to buy a new trailer. Right. You guys but were... Something worse even happened. It just stopped working. Ken's Tesla, sense. it looked great on video. The next day, he drives it to work. Everything's fine. 
he comes in my office, like, my Tesla won't move. I'm, I'm trying to drive it, but it, it's, like, broken. It's coming up with all these error messages. I'm right. like, what? And he's like, yeah, he's kind of like, uh, I called him. They're going to come pick it up. And then he dipped out of there, and Ben and I were editing, so we didn't have time to, like, soup, go Think down and it, film man. it. And until the very end, uh, we had finished the video, and the guy came to pick it up. Yeah, so we ran out great. and gave, like, I'm really glad we got that because it, it tied yeah, it all back in. It made the video together. make way more sense. And, uh, but yeah, basically is brand new Tesla model X plaid is bricked. Broken. Yeah. It's like an iPhone dude that got wet. <laughs> yeah. Like the screen just had air messages all over it. So the doors were like move it. stuck closed yeah, or everything. open. You couldn't move it. <laughs> the thing is basically the equivalent of your iPhone getting a virus it's like when that thing, because the entire thing is just a ball of technology. So yeah. it's like one thing goes Dude. wrong. The entire system is like, air, air, air. Hopefully it's still covered under warranty. Because like, obviously. Dude, the thing is two days old. Yeah, I know. But we like towed a boat no, with it. That but shouldn't it, but that do doesn't anything with it. bullshit, dude. That yeah. shouldn't do anything with it. But we did tell Ken to keep backing it up into the water and backing it up. He's, it was not. It, no, no it wasn't. No I know that. I know it wasn't. But me and Evan were geeking over it. Like, imagine they, like, take it apart, like, when they take an iPhone the apart, and there's, like, wet. the little <laughs> red dot. And if that red dot's showing, then the yeah. battery's wet. Imagine they have that same thing on the Tesla. So I texted that, and Evan goes, well, shouldn't then, have backed it in the water. Like, <laughs> then, uh, So I'm reading this, this text while we're eating, kind of, like, not trying to be super indulged in my phone. And I'm, like, looking, and then I'm, like, do they actually think it's water damage? Like, I'm trying to, I was like, I had to text it out. I'm like, it's not water damage. I promise. Yeah. Yeah. And you said that. I'm like, it's straight up not. I watch it go in the water. It dipped its it was little a, ass end in the water. Not even the ass end, dude. It was yeah, just, just the fucking edge of the bump up. Yeah. But he was hot when he backed that, or when he pulled back out of the water because he was just dumping water out. It must have just went into, like, like his bumper. Dude, down. and he goes, you should have seen when he You walked. said I wasn't in the water. <laughs> like, he was hot. Next time he washes his car, when he pulled out, it, like, did the same yeah. thing and i was like what the hell's all that and i saw where it was dripping it was dripping out of the same place like when he washes his car the same Skate, amount of water yeah. comes out right yeah, yeah. i mean it's like driving it in the rain i think yeah. basically what happened was the fal he was driving with his big falcon door back doors open and it was going beep 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 beep, beep and it wouldn't let him drive and i bet you he drove so far or so long without him with him up that it through some kind of code or something and it, it went into some kind of i don't know i just i think that might have done it i like but. the name for that falcon door you know when you have a, a normal car with a motor and a transmission and everything and you're like i have electrical issues it's already a nightmare right you're like yeah. i have electrical issues that is the worst you never thing know that can happen to yeah. a vehicle the, the interesting like, thing about a tesla particularly this tesla it can only have electrical yeah, issues that's so it's true like, where do you even start in a sense obviously you go to the computer and blah blah, blah but Basically, just the thing wasn't working. Well, what was wrong with it? Don't know. I, it just wasn't working. I do want to say when it was working, towing the uh, the it boat, impressive. it pulled Crazy. amazingly. It drove so goddamn good. It, it drove better than the truck, I think. It had I, air I suspension. Honestly, well, so it's it's especially it's, better than the SEMA truck, which it, you pulled yeah. your boat with last Dude, time. Dude, when you drive it, the SEMA truck with it, it's waving all over. But that's like a bad example, obviously. Yeah. It's like, it's well, the thing's like... like it's, it's like a little bowling ball going down the road. It's heavy. It's, it's heavy. Planted. The thing it's weighs the same amount as the a ground. truck. It drove amazing. It had no, Obviously, it's got the power, but I was just more so worried about the hitch or the chassis yeah. or the drivetrain, something. But it did so good until the next morning. I was looking uh, online, and people would put bike carriers on it, you know? Mm -hmm. And they'd put, like, say two is the max that you can actually do, and they'd have, like, a four Two four, regular bikes? Two regular bikes, but they'd have a four bike rack, four bike bike rack on the back of it. And that was overdoing it. So, and that was overdoing so it. Was it. And they would, they'd <laughs> show a pictures. A boat. <laughs> and it would, Wait, <laughs> what are you overdoing it to whose standards? Did they By have the fact that the hitch went boing Wait, and what? bent back. What? Four bikes bouncing. But to oh, be fair, yeah. they weigh a lot with the rack and stuff like that. The it's pressure. It's the bouncing. It's the bouncing. About the but same still, as a boat. The that, boat was bouncing around. We were doing launches with that thing. All I'm know, saying is when you look it up, Tesla Model X bike hitch issues. And there's pictures all over of Tesla's fucking off in Glacier National Park <laughs> with bike racks hanging off the back of them <laughs> because their freaking bike racks ripped it off the back. I thought it was so funny when Ken pulls out his little box and I go, is that the tow <laughs> That's package? The That's the... Five thousand dollar upgrade tow package. It is in like a little box and kind of like yeah. Oh, he had to do pay. not get your greasy hands on it. <laughs> he had to pay extra for that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I was up in my office listening to you guys basically bicker over an extended <laughs> period of time. Convinced Ken like to hours. do this. Yeah, we, it was sh a long we time. showed the camera. The camera saw about 
two hours of it. We cut it down to two minutes of it. Well, there was another two hours before the camera even came out of just trying to convince him to do it. And finally, did it. he just did it. But, but he, I, he was like saying that he was getting jammed. So he was like, it won't work. It won't work. Ben, I got, up, under I got under there and just shoved it as hard as I could. I was like, no, it's not an answer here, Ken. We're <laughs> yeah. towing CJ's boat and one of them is breaking. <laughs> I, was I have no skin in the game. I don't care at all. I was watching that back and I was like, whoa, that's how I didn't know how it looked. I thought you just took the cover off and the hitch was there. But no, it like. If you watch the video, it plugs up into it. Yeah. It's like How a the 90. How does that work? How did it's that weird work? Thing. It's like a butt plug is it, hit, is it dude. Getting, <laughs> is it being held in position by the three balls? I that, yeah. that, so, that is insane. Frick. So that's why when you were editing that and I was watching it back, I, when I saw that part, I'm like, okay, this is a little more impressive. Extremely impressive. The way it was, yeah, it's like taking just an angle and go, Doop. okay, that's good. We can pull. Yeah. Dude, he could have sent that thing off into the fucking ditch. That'd have been for great. sure. Well, he tr- the, the, the he, turtle thing didn't really get shown on video. I felt like you can't Missed show it. us running a turtle over. <laughs> I do. It was pretty yeah, impressive. It, 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 it was dead like, already. Yeah, I know, but people don't take that very lightly. They're already eliminating straws because of it. Like, <laughs> like we fucking hit that thing, and like on camera, it's like Ken goes, "Oh fuck," and he goes. And me, and, and, the me wheel. and then he just steers right into it and just runs it over <laughs> in line over. with his left tires. And it's like, <laughs> and then we go, Ken just hit a turtle. <laughs> What's up with Ken hitting things in, in like high pressure situations, like at the Cletus race? Damn near straight when up he, panicked. When he panicked and he hit, ran over the, the barrel and hit. then it got stuck. All the deer he's hit. He's really bad under pressure, <laughs> actually. But the funny thing was, is we were behind the boat driving down the highway and and you can't see ken's tesla you can only see the boat and the boat just goes left right left right starts wagging and yeah, we're in the back the we're like wobble. oh fuck the, the boat's going in it the ditch it looked like I he was, was gonna, gonna yard it was the boat next to a it was next to two ponds it would have gone in the pond oh that would been perfect <laughs> yeah of uh, course just, geez, boat just drives off you know like those videos when people load the skid steer too far back and it starts death wobbling right and it rips the truck off and like the whole works i thought that was happening same. And then I Damn. we call and it's like, can you see the turtle? turtle? <laughs> well, we saw it run out underneath it in a million pieces. God, that okay. is for, gross. for the record, it did not run. <laughs> well, it was a dead turtle, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, no, he got like, uh, no more talk about the turtle after this, but he got like turtle remnants <laughs> on the know, side of his car. And the, it, yeah, it splattered the boat. And yeah, it was. All it, the work we've done to make snapping turtles. Friends, right? It I was know. huge, you guys. It's it was freaking like, huge. It was it's freaking huge. done. It was. It had to have been a really old snap. So that's why I, I realized I was like, dude, can I cannot believe you hit that with your <laughs> with your tire, your wheel, and like you said, he's not good it, under. Though. Like one time, granted, I had like shitty coilovers and really low profile tires, but I had a dead raccoon with my Subaru. And it dented the rim. Uh, <laughs> and then Ken was like, he literally, I was just like, how did you not dent your rim? And he was just like. It's not going to dent the rim. <laughs> like, he just was so confident. I was surprised it went as far as it did. I think Same. he thought I was going to say no. And because he, he kept pushing it off onto me, which didn't get put into the video, but he kept saying, well, well, CJ, I don't think he wants to do this. I'd be like, that. dude, what? I'm not going to be the one to fucking hold this back here. <laughs> and he's like, so he just did it. Yeah, I was very surprised that it got passed through. He came into my office. I, I should have put the turtle in there. But at the same Whatever. time, it was just like one of those things. We, we could do a special cut right here. If I would. I don't know. Is it? I just don't know. If like, <laughs> What are you worried about? The, who turtle are you worried community? about? The people that with the, the straws. Okay, you like, think they're the watching no, our videos or sure listening to our podcast? Would be mad about it. It's like it, we kind of made a joke about it, too. It's like we ran over this dead turtle and right. like. It's, it's a little gruesome. It would be. I'd say. I agree with that. It, it was is. an accident, but it was dead already, but it just didn't transpond onto the video because <laughs> we were laughing about it after. It would like, be hit a dead turtle. Interesting <laughs> thing. Going off of what we talked about, snapping turtles, like we post it. Let's say it, wa- let's say it was alive and say Ken just smith- smothered it, like ran it over. And no one cares because it's a snapping turtle. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, wow, I mean, it was a snapping turtle. Damn damn near dinosaur. God yeah, no. take it out. That's going to be the, the fucking start to my campaign to make snapping turtles friends again. <laughs> yeah. Like, no one seems gonna to be care that when video. they get ran over. And I'm just going to be like, people like Ken need to stop. Oh, oh, like you're campaigning against people like Ken. Yes, exactly. That I think snapping turtles aren't genetically mean. Right, Ryan doesn't even, yeah, he's not even campaigning not for, 
for snapping turtles at this point. He's just campaigning against people that don't like them. <laughs> Ken came into my office after he told you because I can overhear everything. I told him. I said, Every conversation that happens, right? So I hear Ken call out CJ, or not call him out, but he goes, huh, my Tesla's broken now. And I, I go, oh, no. I was like, okay, hopefully he just leaves and he doesn't drag me into this. And then I hear, do, 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 walking across. I'm like, fuck, I'm in for it now. And he comes into my office and I'm sitting there editing. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> 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 Expecting him to be like, my Tesla is broken because of you. You owe me $140,000. And he goes, my Tesla's broken. And before he could even put it on me, I go, dude, I bet Elon was thinking about fucking his assistant. And he goes, I bet he was. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, crisis evaded. <laughs> he thinks it's, uh, there's all the driving batteries. I don't know what the fuck they are. That kind. And then there's a normal car battery. He believes that there's an issue with the normal car battery. And oh, it's, so it's sending low. One. Yeah, it's sending low voltage. And he says that that can cause a host of problems. And that's actually why. Dude, if they get mad about that and try and they won't. void his warranty. But okay, imagine a world that they do. I'd be like. We just towed a boat with your guys' car for a million people showing how capable this vehicle is. And now you're the just... least you could do is... Now, now you're just voiding the warranty because we did exactly what you said not to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> bullshit. I got my TRX warrantied after I lifted it, put bigger tires on it, and then got it stuck bumper deep in a field. Dude, warranties... Okay. Not manufacturing warranties but second hand third party. Sell, third party warranties so are are scams yeah let me go into this I, yeah let me go into this and uh save you guys a load of trouble in case any of you are thinking about buying that uh third party warranty when you buy a used vehicle don't <laughs> that's it it's cody gonna pay off our buddy cody sherbrooke buys it i don't know how much he spent on the warranty yeah i don't I'm, so I had bought a warranty for my very first car, my Subaru, and our, the car itself was like nine grand, and I paid another three for the warranty. So quite a bit. Okay, yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I remember him saying that it was like a five thousand yeah, dollar warranty something or like something that. like that. Jeez. For his BMW. Well, then he uh, blows his BMW motor up, which was under the the warranty. He brings it to our buddy Scott. Scott gets the uh, motor. From the warranty company, it's upside down, like on top of a crate pallet, cracked the top of the head, didn't he? Or, I there don't know. Different parts of the engine. They were could broken. have bought a new were broken. En a new crate engine for a thousand or two thousand more, but they bought a used engine. Yeah, it wasn't in good shape. They're telling Scott what he can charge, and he's like, "No, I charge fifty bucks an hour." And they're like, "No, you're gonna, we're gonna pay you 30. And he's like, "That's not how this works here." They're like trying to barter with him, right? They end up sending him a shitty motor. Scott puts it in thinking that it's good because it looks fine on the outside. Well, he kind of knew it was if he tried to get a new one. And, and they, they wouldn't, oh, they yeah. wouldn't, they wouldn't give him a new one. They were like, no, that's the motor you're putting in. So he had to replace a few parts on it, then puts it in. Sorry to interrupt. Just wanted it to be. Takes it for the first drive. Blows up. Like right away. Right away. Miles. Not on him. Solely on them sending him a bad motor, motor. Right? And now these guys are like, sorry, that's the only motor you're getting to Cody. So now he's out like... Five grand for the warranty. I think and he still had to pay like five yeah, grand. Yeah, they said they weren't going to pay the labor to put that motor in. Dude, it's, it's like so such whack. Such a scam. So like, now he's how just can like, they get away with this? The worst part is, is that like that can genuinely screw a person for like kind of multiple years, I'm saying. You know, like if he wants to get out of this car and just get back into a car, which trying <laughs> to get like Cody's yeah. just trying to get a dirt bike right now. He doesn't have a dirt bike. Like he's kind of feeling screwed because he did get screwed. But yeah. Third party warranties. I, moral of the story. There's yeah. got to be so many horror stories. I'd imagine. Ev, have you ever bought one or had any issues with one? No, I've never bought one, but I've heard issues with people buying them. And then Ev's like that. warranty. I don't even have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got freaking slim and uh, who's your other who, squirrel. squirrel? I got slim and squirrel. We'll cut a hole in the box of my freaking chef. Slim we'll be good to go. No coal though. <laughs> So anyway, I don't know if mm -hmm. in case anybody out there was thinking about it. Don't. Yeah. yeah, not worth it. I'd like to take a quick trip to the internet. Oh, I thought you were about to do a pod. Uh, oh, an I, ad. Yeah. Oh, right yeah. I, I just, I, just I thought you were about it. to just do a quick well, ad read. Well, let's rip one. I'd Today's like to video is sponsored by Seaboys TV. We have merch. We have videos. 
We ride dirt bikes. <laughs> Uh, when is the merch drop? <laughs> that's how Mike that's describes a us. Ad. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> that's how he describes us to someone at, at their church when he goes with his mom. So, uh, C Boys TV. We, we have, have merch, merch, we <laughs> have videos, <laughs> and we have dirt bikes. <laughs> <laughs> the lady goes, uh, okay. Okay, that's fun. That's fun. Cool, cool yeah. <laughs> fun. Uh, yeah, merch drop is uh, August 25th. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. We got a fun giveaway coming. That's all I really got to say. Anyway, Ryan. do we have a fun giveaway going? Uh, the podcast listeners are like the yeah. most OG. Hey, we can you know, cut they, them in. they're like the, they're our squad, right? We're trying to figure out where to go with the pit bike giveaways because we've done like, what, 12 of them? Right. We've given away 12 of them. We just came off of giving away three of them. They're great because anyone can ride a pit bike. You know, you can be 50, you can be 30, you can be seven. Ten. Seven. Yeah. Like, like anyone could ride a pit bike, and that's what's so great about giving them away. It's like it does not matter who wins them. Also, it really doesn't matter where you live. Like mm-hmm. you could ride them in your backyard. Mm-hmm. Still a good time. Are people getting sick of them? And like we shake it up and give away quads or dirt bikes or like something else, or do we just stick with what works and what people like? Right. I don't know. Genuine question. And I wouldn't even say are people getting sick of them. That's actually uh, that is a good question. But it's like we just want to spice it up. Sometimes for our sake, like it would be yeah. really cool to give away like a fresh 250. But then again, that 14 year old who's like, mom, can I get entered? She's like, wow, that's a, that's a big dirt, but well, you know, all, all kinds of stuff. But yes, yeah, so I don't know. Like what, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I think quad. I'd, I'm but, surprised. But then when we go like that, dude, I'd love but to then do we're like just make brand. one more quad guy. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> yeah. Like, does the world really need that? <laughs> And Kevin is Sigma no in the back. When we showed your engine on the last podcast, like Kevin was like, dude, straight up only a quad guy could do this. And I'm like, what does that even mean? It's We're a special, special breed. <laughs> yeah. Special kind of stupid. So would you guys like to go on the trip to the internet with me? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So uh Tommy Lee, drummer for Motley Crue, legend, just went ahead and posted a just a full frontal dick pic of himself. I mean, it's not the first time he exposed himself. What do you mean? That's Front, like, like in the mirror or like down on it? It appears as if he's sitting on the floor. <clears throat> it's kind of like oh, this, wow. but he's sitting on the floor. Let me There's see. There's just dick in it. Let me see. It's all blurred out, but. Yeah, we're not where looking at it. Where did he post it? Pretty intentional, yeah. Post uh, it he where? He posted it on Instagram and on Facebook. What a sad. Facebook, bro? And that, and that didn't get taken down? It got taken down by that? Instagram, but not by Facebook yet, apparently. Is he taking a shit? That's why I was. I couldn't yeah, I see thought, if he was no, on the he's toilet. On the floor, dude. Also, he's on the dude, floor. he's giving me vibes of like the anyone, chicks or dudes, but chicks who like don't want to show their face, so they show like half. This, yeah, this like no, of it. Like, like no one knows what Tommy Lee's uh, tattoos or anything looks like. No, I Wait, doesn't Tommy Lee have a? No, sex I'm tape? saying yeah, clearly this Pam is Tommy Lee. So clearly his dick is on the internet already. Yeah. yeah. So my favorite doesn't he also part have a massive dick? Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. So he's probably just like well, probably, but like if you're also going off of uh, the Tom, Tom and Pam and Pam, Pam and Tommy, um, that was all prosthetic or whatever you want to call it. That yeah, was but not no, his I know game. that it wasn't. Yeah, actually, he was that also action. acting. In yeah, it. that wasn't yeah, actually he has a him, talking Mike. dick. <laughs> Yo, Mike, Mike, dude, I have news for you. In Pam and Tommy, the show, that wasn't Tommy. Yeah, dude, that, that, that was an actor. actor. Oh yeah, I knew yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's why they had to use the prosthetic. True, fuck. <laughs> Even if they didn't use a prosthetic, that wasn't Tommy. Yeah, and penises can't talk, dude. You're right. All right. So, Pam, this is my favorite part is those who come out to comment on it. Pam Anderson, obviously, legendary ex-girlfriend, commented, oops. <laughs> Pam and then Anderson? his current wife responds, oh, my God. <laughs> So it's like clearly Wait, no one knew it, it was coming. Was oh, it on accident? I don't know. It d- doesn't really seem like it. Why would you post it on Instagram and Facebook? And Facebook. I don't know. Was it one of those things where they're just linked together? Or did he have yeah, to go he, and do the two link. separate posts? No. I'm, I had to be the link. But also, can you imagine just but think, Was there any He has that? kids and shit. Like, imagine if you were like... Bro, he's getting in fist fights kids. with his kids. I don't think that's going to be like a, a deal uh, breaker for That's them. true. I uh, guess I just thought about like, Can you imagine waking up and your dad just pulled a, posted a full frontal... Dick pic, and you're just like, gee, dad, come I on. Mean, just another day, I'm sure. For them, yeah. If your dad is part of Motley Crew. So are they, w- w- is that it? Why Why did he do it? Is oh, he there was any, chilling in a tub. Is um, there any, uh, like, reason for it, or it was just 
in the moment. I believe it was just an yeah, in the moment like, thing. I want to say it's probably just one of those in the moment. Like, I feel like he's hyping up a song or something. Yeah, that's Usually people do that when they're like trying just to some create some commotion. And then everyone's going to still have an eye on them and then drop some shit. It's like every New time, merch line. Every that's, time the Kardashians have. A quick buck. What do you got? Okay. So get this. <laughs> Evan's like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> the same day or the same week that Kim and Pete broke up, which broke the news, everybody was talking about it, Courtney and Travis had their uh, baby, you know, because Travis cheated on her and had the baby with the other girl. No. Oh, I didn't what? know that. No. no. Oh, I no. did not know that. Not, yes. not Courtney. No. no. Sorry. And Travis Chloe. Parker. Chloe. And Chloe. 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 Sorry. And, um, Sorry. Basketball. Yes, exactly. And Tristan. You think she did that on purpose to redirect the attention? Yes, I believe wow. so. And I don't know, but... They always say nice Chris Jenner's fucking out there always working on something. And so they had to cover it up because it was big fucking deal. And then what's the big deal? He's cheated on her like 27 times and has kids with a bunch of different women. Like the least he could I thought do they is pull together up. anymore. No, no, they are. <laughs> oh, or put a condom on. <clears throat> yeah. That guy ain't wrapping up, dude. Not a chance. But he should be. He should <laughs> no, be. no, I know. But like a guy like that, that's just dogging the entire town. Well, the entire world, dude. I'm getting Apparently. Snapchat updates all the time because me and Greta. You get Snapchat updates with Tristan Thompson? <laughs> He's snapping. Personally. Hey, ben. hey, just in Arizona right now, about to find some chicks. All right, dude. never mind. Jeez. I don't know where I was going Angle of them, back shots, and you, you respond, you should really be wearing a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. All right, sorry, sorry. Anyway, so you think that was just a cover-up? I think it's a cover-up. Oh. But maybe Pete and I Kim thought, were done. No, nah, I, my... my take on it was that Kim K wanted to hype what the fuck is this show turned into <laughs> <laughs> I just had to hold up. sorry I had to catch myself it's just there. basic marketing man yeah huh no what for what mm, this the pro whole thing no man. this no, life wide open program well, we that, have. but <laughs> also everything no I'm saying that I think when Kim K wanted to hype up their new Hulu show <laughs> I can't even have this guy. <laughs> she started dating Pete. She started dating Pete to create more hype. A.K.A. Skeet. Sorry, I didn't mean to have the flash on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jeez, Louise. What? Keep going, bro. I can't. Just, You're he's trying it. to do it a little Snapchat right. promo. Yeah. <laughs> Put the this camera so on Ben and he shuts it down. I'm not ever. trying to be discreet. Clearly. <laughs> You're putting the camera in my face. Right. How would you feel if I just did... You try and tell a story right now, and I'm going to stand... <laughs> All right, so one time uh, when we were at the dinner table, um, my mom was telling the story about how... Oh, my mom got engaged, by the way. Oh, you are straight up telling it. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't make I feel you like this is untasteful. <laughs> this is very untasteful. All right, carry on. Oh, I mean, uh, is this where we are right now? Because I don't was going to tell that story, but the like vibe to. was not right. No, I was going to. Coming off of... Pete and Skeet yeah. and Kim I mean, Before up. that dick Dude I feel like The people do not give a shit What we have to say About the Kardashians That's why I just kept That's Stopping a, myself Yeah I was like Cause even I don't have Give a shit Yeah Sorry Carry on If you would like To tell a story You can yeah. If not well, we I can mean, go A different direction No I would it, It's funny But anyway So my mom Got engaged recently Which is exciting Kind of crazy Happened fast Good for her She's very happy um, and she's telling this story about, actually he is, his name's Kelly. He's telling the story to the family. We're all there, I think for my birthday kind of gathering. Did they and, announce it at your birthday that they're going to engage? Uh, yeah. Yeah, honestly, I, which kind of stole the thunder. No, <laughs> the <laughs> hell fucked up, dude. You're turning 20. I know. Yeah, dude, it was, it was <laughs> messed up. I'm day. like, oh, what, even, the, even the birthday. cake says congratulations on the engagement. What is this? <laughs> But uh, he's telling the story. And, and it was, was it was a to a surprise? Like you didn't know? Well, we knew before that, but we all had sat down. And I forget, my sister or someone was just like, so like, let's hear the story. Like, how'd it go? Nothing crazy. It's not like they went to Niagara Falls or anything. But he's telling the story. I, I forget, you know, it was a nice day. Maybe they did in a park. I can't even remember because. You were so stoned. No. <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa uh, is super hard of hearing, sorry. so he kind of just chills at the end of the table. <laughs> you dick. No, I'm sorry. I'm I, this, is funny. A, this is a moment for him right now, funny. bro. He's telling the story of his mom getting no, engaged. It was a moment for them. This moment was completely different. But yeah, my grandpa is super hard of hearing. 
So he sits at the end of the table, and I always feel bad because we have these, we have conversations, <laughs> conversations, conversations, everything's going on. So at this time, someone's telling a pretty important story, but he can't hear it. He doesn't know what's going on. So he <laughs> is just always like he can speak Norwegian like fluently, and he's starting to be like to the point where he can like speak more Norwegian than English in a sense. Like, oh. not Whoa. not really, but yeah, like he he does that happen in old age? It it can, yeah. He's like losing you, his English. If you're fluent in a certain language and fluent, I'm talking from the like his <clears> mom <throat> was hardly spoke English in a sense, and so anyway, speaks Norwegian all the time, and then. Middle of this, not even middle of the story. You know, let's just, just hold say, up. Who does he speak Norwegian to? Sorry to interrupt. To be you, honest, but like not many people. Because like to to uh, keep a right a second language, you know, you, you gotta have speak, to speak it. it. But like, and so he only has a couple of his friends that are still alive that he can speak Norwegian to. He can always call up his okay. homies anyway, in Norway. Sorry, but, sorry, sorry. He's got homies in Norway, dude. He's got <laughs> he's got he's been there like twelve times. It's weird. I feel like a little bit uncultured for not knowing any Norwegian. He'll speak to me, and I'm just like. And he does it to everyone. He goes, I don't even know. <laughs> and, and he goes, and he just sits there and smiles. And I go, as always, no idea what you said. <laughs> He's probably sitting Mike, there like you're. Mike, <laughs> are you uh, such an asshole to them as you are to us? I'll get to that. <laughs> okay. okay. He's worse. No, 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 <laughs> He no. physically abuses. <laughs> but then, so he's telling the story, and we're all, like, literally on the edge. Yeah, I physically. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat, as everyone is, and uh, he just goes, you guys want to hear a song in Norwegian? I haven't sang in a while, but I might remember a few. And we're all kind of like. In the middle, in the of, middle the, of the story. middle of it, it's <laughs> very like heartfelt. He's like, "Yep." Yeah. Then we walked over. We were in the park, and like this and that. You guys want to hear a song in Norwegian? And we're all like, "Um, no, maybe not." <laughs> he starts singing, bro. And we're were all like, you laughing? Yeah, we just you had none to of us. Been. I mean, trying to hide it, but we're just snickering, laughing. And we're like, "Dude, he's just singing along." And then grabs, dude, you don't get it. He like stops, but he again had no idea that this story was going on. So we're like, ha, ah, that was great. All of us quickly back to the, he starts up again with the story. It's going good. And then he's like, I think I know one more rips. Another song. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, and it's just funny. Cause none just of us no know what he's in the saying. Yeah, just, I mean, just uh, in a different language, singing a folk Norwegian song. <laughs> and then we're all, at the second one, we're like, he finally gets close to the end of the story and then he's just like I don't know what else he said but he's like yeah those are the only songs I know but I'm still surprised I remember them and we're like yeah 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 but I yeah think there might be one more that I know yeah. he had no idea what like, he was just there right like no idea that's the the sad part is like he's just he can't hear so he had no idea what was going on but like to to go one past that where you're like, are you as big of a dick? It's me trying to now understand like memory loss. This is another part of it. You know, he's tells me all this stuff and it's like I've stuff I've heard many times. And then there's a few times that I've heard like, so he's got his new Subaru. He got this new Subaru Forester and it's like all he really has to talk about. And, uh, he'll ask me like, I've, I've driven it with him. I've seen it many times. He's given me a tour of it three times and he goes, you seen our new car yet? It's green Subaru. You seen that? And I'm like, and then I, I, I'm not a dick, not a dick about it, but I'm just like, yeah, 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 grandpa. Yep. I've seen it many times, driven it with you actually. And he's just, he's kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not all bummed out about it, but that's something that I need to like cope with and understand like someone forgetting. You kind of just have to act like it's your uh -huh. first time hearing it and that's it. So, like, that's a, been a really interesting thing. We just moved them into, like, a nursing home. Nursing home? I don't know if it... There's a difference between assisted living and a nursing home, but... The thing about nursing homes is... So, I haven't had, like, any grandparents, but, like, with Greta's, like, we had gone there a couple times, and it's, like, honestly really sad to see that, like, that's kind of where you, like, end your life. Right. I don't know. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe it's not the case for all... I actually thought that too up until um, they were in an apartment and they're like chilling, but they're not able to take care of themselves. So then they go into assisted living and, and they're like, this is so much better. I'm like, okay, thank you for being stoked about it because it is sad. Yeah. Well, and a lot of, a lot of people when they get old like that, they don't want to be there either. Right. 
And then, so if they're but then it's just there. like the family's like, like I can't just babysit you all day, and you right. know. And then it's like a safety hazard to them too if they literally can't take care of themselves. But yeah, it is it is wild that you kind of like start your life like b- being taken care of, and then you end your life end being it. taken care of. But like, <clears throat> I think there's so many. I, I guess it is kind of hard when you get to that age, but there's so many people that are just like, take me out back before you put me at a nursing home. That's there what is. my grandma said. She said, I'm not going out of the house unless I'm going out for you first. Ha. Huh. Is yeah. she? Yeah, I she's mean, in a nursing home right now. Oh. I fucking hates hey, it. Hey, that's good. But you I know mean, what's funny? To me, it's like college, dude. There's bold <laughs> ladies. <laughs> yeah. They're walking there's around. college for old there's, people. There's fucking events. Parties. You look at the calendar, there's events all day. They've got wine at eight. They do legit shit. They've got oh, do non- they party? Yeah, they've got non-alcoholic wine for people who can't mix it with the medicine. They've got uh, oh. alcoholic wine for yeah. those who aren't on medicines. But there's so many levels of it. There's, there's the, like a there's lot. the poor ladies that can't walk, can't talk, can't do anything. Then there's the ones that are walking around. And go, you look like you need a quilt. I'll I'll, I'll knit you a quilt for five bucks, and we could go down to the hair salon that's in here. Or you want to meet at the cafeteria? It kind it's of is like crazy. Yeah. Do you think- honestly? Yeah. No kidding. Do you think nursing homes have like pimps? Jesus I Christ! Not. What? <laughs> I don't know. Like prostitutes? I am going to go with no. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it is. It is common. Like, that do there's you think a that there's like <laughs> an old guy that's like just hey. balling? He's got like six girls. Yeah, and he's giving them out. That's how red profit. Maybe pimp was the wrong. Yeah, definitely wrong. Like top G. Yeah, like do you think that there's yeah 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 pimp was definitely the wrong yeah uh, do you term know what for pimp it. is yeah 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 like hoeing out girls but. Okay, do you think that there's guys that are just there just like slaying? slaying? Oh, 100%. Okay. Dude, that's a I common like there thing. Is. There's there's so many STDs going around in uh Is there <laughs> is How yeah. common is there that? Is it's very no common. Way. Evan knows. Look okay, it up. It's so very I, common. Dude, they're cuz I mean they're all like, I guess STDs don't go anywhere. They're just fucking <laughs> spewing, dude. Damn. Dude, shut the fuck up. We have grandparents and nursing homes. Well, that's I mean, it's your grandpa, like right? Like You think your grandpa's slaying? Well, no, oh, he's, wait, married. he's married. Yeah, 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 I guess. Yeah, yeah. But there's so, widows there, you know? And this is right. They, like, just take this lightly. I guess, you know how this is a really bummer thing when, like, one, the significant other passes away, finally goes home to be with God or whoever, finally passes away. Then the other, the other remaining uh, spouse in the relationship doesn't seem to last long. Yeah, it's very common. Maybe, very common. Yeah. They could last a little longer. If they had a little fun towards the end. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought you were about to do a can Bluetooth you, uh, ad read imagine? right there. At, no, like, no, no, no. God forbid any of our grandparents pass, but could you imagine you you set, you set sit them down and you go, all right, grandpa, grandma's gone. You need to get back out there. <laughs> what? I've set, up, I've set up a date with you with Nancy down the hall, <laughs> and I've heard people say that, yeah, she might be everybody's first hit when everybody gets here, but you know what? It'll get you back on your feet. <laughs> And he's looking and go, what? It's like a base hit, Grandpa. The, the it's like a base hit. hit. She might be everybody's first hit when they get here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having that rap, rap about you? <laughs> At the nursing home. Someone's just talking shit about your grandma. She's the fucking That's she's the the town pump. Hit. So I, town, yeah. She's the nursing home bike. <laughs> Oh man, I'm like <laughs> Gladys. She's always hanging out at the cafeteria waiting for. Yeah, I don't she's always hanging around the cafeteria, just yeah. Praying. So I mean, I I like the idea of like making a nursing home not sound like it's the the worst, the worst end of the world type thing. Well, you think that way about a lot of things, though. But yeah, I I agree. I mean, it is about perspective. Yeah, but I I fuck that. I am not going into one of them. Even though it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going into one. Well, I always no wonder. No way. CJ. <laughs> CJ's going to be fully functioning. And he's going to be. Mark and Tint. Mark and Tint are going to be in a nursing home and be like, boys, we are clean enough in here. And CJ's like 50. And he's like. Fuck it. Oh, dude, I gotta get in there. I gotta he's, get in there. The he's, boys paying his, he's paying his own way. He checks himself oh, in and out. He no moves himself way. in there. I, so I come and go as I please. No, I would not. <laughs> I would not do that. <clears throat> yeah, so I was obviously joking about the great part, but uh, dude, I would. 
I would if I was it was like I'm on the line of starting to have to go to a nursing home. I would just partake in the most life risking activities because you either die or you pull it off and you're fucking a legend. Like they'd be like, Jesus, did you see when CJ jumped like 20 <laughs> school buses at age 67? <laughs> or hopefully older than that, 76. Yeah, 67. Yeah. Like, holy CJ fuck, he did it. Reti- and if he did, like, he just retired from working and he's so <laughs> bored. He's well, like, hold up, All right, <laughs> either I'm going to jump 17 school buses <laughs> yeah, I'm going to retirement yeah, home. Well, keep hopefully in mind, like the age of the average age of death is in the United States is still like 75. Yeah. So that's not like that's the other crazy thing. And I was like stoked to see like my grandparents are much past that. Stoked for that. But like seventy five, that's think, not that I old. I think it's the young people that throw it off. Oh. Oh, oh it's a oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean Okay, that makes a lot more sense, actually. Yeah, dude. Me and CJ's grandpa Ron, he's eighty one. Is he really? Yeah, and we're gonna okay, take never him. mind. I was jumping <laughs> way <laughs> I'll be like eighty five. <laughs> <We're gonna laughs> like, like, yeah, we're five jumping the school. We're bus taking dude. Grandpa Ron reckless golfing with us when we go. Yeah, I don't know if he he has too much respect for the golf course. We're we'll not giving to, him a choice. Yeah, you're right. We'll just give him a couple. You got to get him all liquored up. We'll get him liquored hey, up. Hey, he already committed to going golfing with us. We never specified what Bro. what else we were gonna be doing while we're golfing. Hey, we start running golf carts off the ledge. He's going to be like, Jesus, you guys are nuts. What you guys <laughs> are nuts. But he also might love it because you can't tell me that you've never wanted to do that as a golfer. Like just hoon out on a golf cart. Yeah. You know, we're going to be at his country club and everything. I got something funny to show you guys. I don't know. Hopefully I can, hopefully I can show this, but uh, hopefully God damn it, You guys are going to laugh your ass off. Look at this. This is what Ben Shane sent me uh, from over at the, mansion down the road he manages the uh the, real, the lawn look at this one of his workers fucking drove <laughs> the riding lawnmower into the pond bro what? yeah i was what? like how do you even do that bro like, I literally, and he was like i don't know how he did it kind of speechless right now because i don't know how you do that had, I'd, I'd assume what, what he's done out i'd assume what he did is he he also suffers from the same thing that ken suffers from <laughs> is um losing complete cognitive ability <laughs> to like comprehend your situation and know what's going on as soon as shit goes a little south right how does it go south on a lawnmower so this is what i'd imagine like six miles an this hour. is what i'd imagine he's, <laughs> so he's ripping lines he's probably going back and forth he's not trying, that kind the, the mowing kind right right right, right. and <laughs> um in the water he's trying to put her in reverse terry throws you know throws the arm over the shoulder looks back Ooh. Hits the go forward instead of the go backwards. <laughs> was probably already looking backwards. Went forward, no. saw that he was going forwards, and it's like r- the grass is right up to the rock ledge. I used to rip lines there too. Mowing <laughs> he hit lines. The go forwards. The last job I backwards. ever had. I think he hit the go forwards instead of backwards because they're right no, next to what, each he other. Held it for ten seconds. No, like, I think he suffers from the same thing that Ken does, where you panic under pressure. Even if you, you lose, it, you just hold it. Complete. He control of your body it straight and he into whiskey the pond. throttled it straight into the and pond he yelled, because he was Whoa! right at the end Whoa! even if you burped it in the rocks and then slammed reverse like that mower's not Bro, gonna be it's like a sweet. fucking riding lawnmower it's not like you burp it and you pop a wheelie in <laughs> and you tear off i guarantee that you just blurp the throttle a little too what hard what else would happen what other position could you put yourself in to end up in that pond right. so you know how those attention. suckers have cruise control he was drunk that's what I was rebelling. thinking. They don't have cruise control like that. They don't have the the stick on no. the side like ours does. No. Maybe he was sick of that. I armor. thought maybe he had that on and he was running along and he fell asleep. Fell asleep? I don't know, dude. You're mowing lawns three times Bro, a week. All I would week. be so fucking rattled if I put Can a you? lawnmower in there and I was working there. Dude, I'd what be if, like, what if, what the fuck? What if am we I put doing? our own lawnmower in that pond? I wouldn't it be could, that surprised. It could happen if Evan happens. was driving. Evan's always driving a lawnmower. <laughs> CJ's no, just gonna... out for blood right, today. Dude, he's just right. he's just firing. <laughs> dude, could you imagine how embarrassing it was to crawl out of that pond Bro. all dyed blue like yeah. a fucking I trying to tell them. <laughs> oh, I, up put to bed. BJ, I put the lawnmower in the pond. Put the lawnmower's in the pond. He'd be like, what? The what is in the pond? What? Like, the lawnmower. You, you would be thinking it's like stuck on the side or something. Full on. Yeah, dude. I always love seeing just how embarrassing a worker can uh, embarrass themselves. It's so like our buddy, makes you feel better about yourself. Our buddy Trent, 
uh, he they run him and his dad and his brother run a cow farm, a pretty yeah. big one. And he's gonna be in the retirement home soon. <laughs> Trent, <laughs> yeah, he's and old. Made of dust. No. Just give it two he, people that understand. Like that they have workers. Well, no, I'm just saying. Like they have he's workers old. that do dumb stuff. Uh, yeah, most. And yeah. like he sends us Snapchats of it, and it's so entertaining. And one of is just like, hey. Check this out. One of our workers ran the tractor into the train today. Into a moving train. <laughs> yeah, and the front and of the, the tractor is gone. the tractor just wiped itself off, and it's like... It hit a fucking train? train? I think a train a hit him. Train. Oh. I think more along the lines of a train hit him. Okay. You know and what the most fucked up thing is? That's not the first train tractor accident they've had. No. Yeah, it's the second. So it's just one of those, like, how do you even begin to explain that? Yo... Wipe the front end of the tractor off, hit the tr local train. I've had that happen where I, nice. I fucked you up. hit a train? No, <laughs> no, just like at work. When I used to work at Quartz Plus, I worked at the, it was gym. Anyways, like, what was your biggest people would come in, mess up there? I can't remember. I'm sure I had quite a few, but uh, one that sticks to my sticks out to me. Person came in. It was this guy and this girl, and the girl was like crying, and this guy would always buy a guest pass, he, like instead of just getting a membership. So I just assumed he probably didn't have, he just couldn't commit the money or whatever. And the girl's like crying and he's just like, he's like, uh, <laughs> two, two guest passes, please. And I'm oh, just like, oh, they walk and up like, and she's I'm, crying. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. uh, yeah. It's like, you know, it's uncomfortable. I'm like, obviously there's something going on here. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And I, I take the money or whatever. And you're normally supposed to sign your name and all this stuff. So that way when you go in, you're you know, liable accounted and accounted for and whatever. I didn't have him sign it. Cause I just didn't have the heart to be like, yeah, fill this form out for <laughs> both of you. And, uh, I'd only worked there for like a couple months. They go in, end up stealing <gasps> a bunch of shit. No! Out of the lockers. You were already a little and, and then they, I was like relatively new and they go and, uh, wash the cameras back. They're like, that's the person who stole all the stuff. Who and they go, it? perfect. Who? They came in at this time. CJ, you checked them in. They go and look at the book. Did they sign in? And I'm like, <laughs> everyone no. turns and looks at me. Like, fucking everyone, dude. Everyone. And, <laughs> and, uh, unbelievable. Yeah, I felt bad. And this one lady that was, uh, above me by a little ways literally turned and she was kind of like, it was like joking, but also like not. And she was like, it's your fault or something like that. <laughs> like Dude. straight up was like, you. you were the one <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember just standing there like, fuck. Like you guys don't pay <laughs> me enough for this shit. <laughs> I've been paid nine bucks an hour, I think. That's yeah, pretty good. Ten. Um, it's like how bumped to 10. Yeah, after a couple of years. But uh, huh. yeah, I felt pretty bad about that one. And Dude. the worst part uh, was that some of the stuff that I got stolen was my girlfriend at the time. She had like a mm. uh, nice coat, her purse. Her uh, glasses, some everything, cars. Damn! So you were in the doghouse she in, on all place. sides. No, she was nice. She didn't. She understood. She, no control but, uh, over that, honestly. Yeah, but she anyways, fuck. Dude, one of my biggest hit the, frick ups when sorry. I was detailing cars was like, this oh, is. Dude, I got honestly, another one. Yeah, oh not as. Gosh. I was just wanted to know what you guys' biggest frick ups like at work were. I have where, one where you when have I used to, to report to someone and you're just like, ah. But and mine was it happened quick. The discipline was quick, but I. Just we have to jump cars all the time when I was detailing cars, and I just just didn't get the red and the black right, and it started on fire. It put it out right away, but it like sparks. You sparks, started sparks. someone's car on fire, and then the battery <laughs> started on like some part of plastic or like the foam part of the under the hood started on fire. We put it out right away. Put With it, uh, what'd you put it out with? A fire extinguisher? No, I mean just wet rags. Okay, you started peeing and, on and it. We got it out right right away, but it's like they're just like. It was, if it wouldn't have started on fire, they would have been like, dude, don't make that mistake again. But then since it did start on fire, it's like there's money on the line potentially. Mm. And they're just like, you know, you just don't get it. Red <laughs> on red. Black <laughs> on black. So dumb, dude. <laughs> that is pretty like, dumb. Yeah. Know, right. In their defense, that is so no, stupid. No, right. But it, it, it's, it wasn't. It's stupid. But also it's like a common mistake, like a 50-50 chance. I'm not the first one to put red on black and black on red. I'm not the first one, and I definitely won't be the last. Fair enough. Like, hey, it is I, you gotta learn I will. Yeah, that's what I'm might be someone else's hey, car. If, if you want me to pounce on you the next time you make an idiot mistake, I will. I got a good story too about fucking up. Ben, you got to tell your two, two guys. Flooded the basement. How you the fuck did you know I was going to tell that story? 
Because I by you far your flooded biggest. Flooded the it's, basement of the of the blanket. <laughs> the, 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 mansion. Mansion. The, the beep it mansion okay so funny en- why have i not heard this because you're embarrassed you didn't tell anyone so funny I enough i haven't heard this either i don't i don't remember telling anyone so i'm surprised yeah, that ryan you're fucking knew that. embarrassed all right so um <laughs> that's your problem dude okay so <laughs> that be too. that same place that uh cj just showed the, the tractor, tractor in, the, in, in the pond uh, this just gets fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbass workers. They need to hire some better help. I so I worked there when I was like seventeen. And um every day there's like ten fountains around the entire property. And so every day, the first thing you do, it's the morning routine, is you go into the basement of the main house mansion and you change the filters out for the fountains. Right? And you just clean them and then so you have to turn off two knobs. And so it stops the water and then you clean the filters and then you turn the knobs back on. I think I turned one knob or n- neither knobs. So it backed up somewhere and long story short, the entire basement flooded. <gasps> How much water? They didn't know that until like, it, so I think there had to have been like a backup somewhere that took like 12 hours. <gasps> <clears throat> so it was a Thursday. I'm gone on Friday. I'm, I'm, I didn't, uh, I was out for the day. And so no they one show how, up. They, yeah, they show up and see the entire basement flooded. And um, yeah, they figured out that it was like me from the day before. And honestly, I showed up on Monday and they just kind of mentioned it in passing. Like, hey, uh, basement was flooded. Um, you and since you they and, and I was like I was tame, like you were probably like I was like what do you mean the basement was flooded like why do I still have a job it must not have been that bad like you guys would have called me if if, if right, it was that right. bad don't show up on Monday why do I still have a job <laughs> yeah and um honestly it wasn't that bad because like the entire basement on a mansion is basically industrial. And so I think they take into account that you're going to have absolute idiots <laughs> working it, working it. So they like dummy proof it, which is nice. So they basically just went in with a squeegee and they just squeegeed the entire basement out and the yeah, entire wait, basement of like a 10,000 square foot house. Massive, massive. Basement. How much water was in there? I don't know if it was like standing water or, or what, but they said it like flooded like the entire basement. Wow. Holy balls. Yeah. But I never like, like that's the thing. Um, about that kid putting the, the tractor in the pond. Like, that shit just, like, happens, and I guarantee BJ's just like, you're a fucking idiot, dude. That's what he told me. But he was like, all right, let's... Uh, Thanks, back to work. Yeah, back to work. Like, right. what are you going to do? Fire him, and then you're out? I'm sure the owner of the mansion <laughs> would have uh, different words. It's not his money, the guy that's telling you. He's, yeah. he's not paying for it. He's just oh, like, yeah. Yeah, but when, you're, when you're that... When you're yeah, that sure uh, much of them. a baller, though, too, it's like you you have employee. You, the dude's probably got thousands of employees. He's probably got so People many employees making mistakes all the time. Well, you, it's just making mistakes. You know, yeah. it's just kind of how it is. How and it happens, when you're yeah. older, I guess you probably get it. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. I uh, when I worked for Dave, <laughs> I uh, it was a complete opposite. I I like messed up one time. I worked there for four years. I messed up like one time. I didn't hook a trailer correctly. I was pulling it up. <laughs> oh, <hill. shit. laughs> trailer popped off. I was going backwards with a skid steer. <laughs> trailer popped off the skid steer ball hitch. Starts tearing down this hill. And oh it's a skid gosh. steer trailer. It's a massive trailer. Heavy. Oh heavy, gosh. heavy trailer. Right? And this thing is tearing down the hill. So you got Dave's hanger on the left. Trailer's going. Barely misses the hanger. Nice. I'm like, okay. Next problem. <laughs> Big dumpster on the right hits the dumpster, plows the dumpster to the edge of that. Then it kind of bounces off the dumpster and then it starts going down a huge hill. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm chasing this in thing skid- in the skid steer, like, 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 <laughs> like as fast as I physically can, hitting every button. I had a Ken moment there. I straight up Ken myself. I'm hitting buckets or I'm hitting buttons. I detach the uh, attachment on the skid steer. And I run it over. I was just going to say, and then what, you run it over? I run it over, and when I did that, it uh, cracked two lines on the skid steer. Because I was hung up on it, and I was just like, go! Run it down! And finally, this trailer 
goes down this massive hill, misses two semis parked there, probably missed them by like two feet. Nice. And then it just careens into it like five skid steer buckets. And it didn't do anything to the trailer and it didn't do anything to the buckets and it missed all these different things oh. along the way. And I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, please nothing be wrong because I'm never going to tell anyone about this because I'm so I've never heard fucked this story. If, this, if, if, if like something is broken, right? I'm like, this could be so bad. I'm like looking, semi's okay. okay. Skids your buckets, trailer's okay. Hangar, airplane, fuel tank, all okay. And then I'm looking at the skid steer. Uh -oh. I'm like, what uh -oh. the, what, what's this? <laughs> pile of of hydraulic fluid doing underneath it oh. and i'm like now i have to tell them what happened oh. i tell them and no then one saw it. i guarantee dave wouldn't have done this but al the guy that I, was kind of in charge of me took the skid steer hydraulic lines out of my paycheck and i was getting paid 11 bucks an hour oh. how much that cost i don't know maybe a couple, a couple hundred, hundred bucks. bucks but still i was just like Damn, dude. What the what? fuck? Yeah. I, I doubt Dave would have done that, but he, he was just like a heart, more That's of a hardo. Yeah. But I was just so happy. I was so happy. It could Imagine so if it would have like sent through a building. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like like a tin building. Oh, it would have gone been, through it. Yeah. It would have been so bad. <laughs> it would have been so, so It hits so like the whole bad. side and the whole thing falls on like an airplane. Dude, it could have been so bad. Yeah. I, I guess I didn't really have that. Yeah, those are pretty mistake. good ones. Those, were, those are all pretty significant fuck up boys. Fuck, fuck up, boys. Thanks, dude. One time when I was uh, working at a car wash. Uh, working at the car, car wash. I'm not going to say at what dealership. They'd bring in nice cars or whatever. I'm in high school. Uh, I hop in this like older, I think it was like a Land Rover or some kind of cruiser thing. Off-road, like 90s vehicle. I'm like, wow, this thing's pretty cool. It's like nice. Like this guy takes really good care of it. And I'm going through, and I'm I'm an idiot, so I'm not thinking. And I go, I'm gonna listen to some music as I'm like sending it through this thing that has uh, it's like a wash thing, and it had like the like things. a car wash, yeah, car wash. <laughs> there we go. But, okay, yeah. but it had yeah. like the a fucking, wash. you know, like the little the swoopers, swoopers. Oh, like yeah. touch car wash. Yeah, touch car wash. And I hit the radio button, and all of a sudden I see an antenna coming up. <gasps> As I'm in the freaking thing, Swoopers. swooping back and forth, antenna just gets wiped. I'm freaking hitting it. Won't come up. Won't go down. Won't go down. Just ends up going up. And I'm just sitting there, and it just gets wrecked. It's all mangled, bent oh. up. And I go pulling out of the car wash, and I pull it out, and the guy is right there. No. He didn't watch. And he goes, immediately Double goes to the antenna. The antenna. It wasn't bent. I just got it fixed. I just got yeah. it. <laughs> so he's I, definitely looking. I I don't remember what I did. I was just like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. And he was being a dick. He was all mad at me. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Like, let's go talk to whoever and they'll get you taken care of. The worst thing that ever happened was I was with, I was pulling out of this other little bay thing and uh, I was in a really nice Audi, Audi Q8, you know, like the. You never figured that out, have you? Never I never. Did. Audi. Is it Audi? Yeah. But it's whatever you want. And you just got to stick to your Audi guns. Q8. Okay. Supercharged, super nice, brand new. They were working on this construction stuff, and there was like this, uh, there was like this fucking like copper post thing that was sitting in the dirt. Dude, you're doing a lot of hand movements. <laughs> copper post thing. <laughs> okay. Anyways, right, goes back to dude. it. You're not used to this much range of motion, though. <laughs> uh, anyways. I don't know why, but for some reason the door was still open and I was just going to pull it through and there was normally enough room and it fucking ran the white, the copper wire off the fucking door and scuffed up the side of this thing. And I pull out. This is why you can't trust dealerships. Well, I'll, I'll never bring the car there. You can't pull it out. <laughs> Dude, I pull out. And I, I'm like, holy fuck. I just fucked up so bad. My heart sunk. And I go and tell like the manager. I'm like, yeah. dude, I just fucked up. I just fucked. He comes over. He's looking at it. He's like, and like the people and the people come up. It's like this nice family. And he just goes, don't say anything. And just, hey, let me help you get in the car. They leave. <gasps> Damn. Sent him off with it. And he knew. I knew. I felt terrible. I went home that night. I felt all bad. But I mean, what a fuck. <clears throat> Do you doing? feel any better getting that a little bit off your chest? Uh, I mean, I told my dad and my parents. They're like, well, I don't know what else to tell you, man. Mm. But yeah, I felt really bad. Mm. I'm but I'm sure maybe, you know, they... Yeah, I mean, fuck. Your car gets more fucked up going to the dealership than it does when you had it. Yeah. Mm. 
Well, when I brought my Corvette in last year, uh, <laughs> I I had just put on a, just put on a front lip, front splitter, and I bring it to the Corvette dealership. And you would think that they had a little, just a couple more brain cells than the rest. No. Well, not the Corvette dealership. It's just the just the Chevrolet dealership. dealership, but they have the Corvette technician uh, take care of it. Nope, still an idiot. <laughs> pulls pulls it onto the alignment rack, doesn't use the lift, and just tears off tears off the front front uh, lip. Yeah, that's what when you were saying. I think last podcast when you're saying about the Z06 and all this, and you're like, it's dope. You can go to any GM dealership and get it serviced, which is true. But I'm like, eh, just still eh. idiots. I know it's like you still got to like pick and choose which GM dealership you're bringing your. A hundred plus thousand dollars. I only that trust. Too. I only trust my GTR at two places. Right, and same for you, like Nissan. You bring it to a Nissan dealership, but it. it yep. Yeah. With my buddy Scott at Red River Motorworks, or my buddy Matt at SRD. Right, and neither of them are Nissan. And Nissan neither of them, but they both fucking take care of it. Mm -hmm. Like right. they get it. They don't. You know. You just know. Treat no it dumbass as a race car or whatever. No, they yeah. just make. I, I know it's not going to get messed up. I just know that's the thing. No one's going to be leaning on it. They're not going to fucking... Like, I just know it's in good hands. And I, it probably costs a little more, but it's also my buddy's shop, and it's worth it. That's another thing I thought about, like, bringing a, your red Corvette into a normal GM dealership. I, I, if I worked there as an average Joe, if I worked there, I'd be stoked. I'd be like, this thing's sick. I'd want to sit in it. I know. I, I used probably to work, would, I used to to work there. Yeah. I was a dumbass high school kid that yeah. ran the doors in the copper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would sit in all of them. Yep. When we used to, at the dealership that I used to work at, we would have to go get them from the back lot. These were new cars, not owned by anybody, but the dealership. And you would have to go get them, and it would be really cold out in the winter. So you'd get in it, and you go, man, it's cold in here. How do I get this car to warm up faster? So you just rev the piss off. Oh, that was cold. inconsiderate of you. <laughs> get to warm up faster. No. <laughs> I cannot. No, just me, dude. For the record, I cannot believe you did that. And then someone gets this new car, probably just like Ken's Tesla. They were revving the, they're beating the hell out of it yeah. before Ken got it. No, these these were uh, certified pre-owned, so it's okay. Okay, yeah. But I did one so time. So someone when I was with less money that was getting a used car, damn bad. Only going to have inevitable pre -abused. problems and no warranty. Pre-owned is just pre-abused. You're kind of yeah. odd one out now working at a dealership. Yeah, seriously. I was going to say the the only other thing the, uh, I you know every company with employees has their issues but we've been so lucky with ours f come in here i'm in here we'll <laughs> give a special shout out and the comments have been honestly so heartwarming that you guys welcome him the way that we have people love you you're an absolute superstar i have the only complaint and like <laughs> like dude don't get me wrong i get it because you're so so dope but this guy's head has just gone through the ceiling what yeah he is pretty damn cocky he's so cocky now there was a like kid. the humble ki like ev that we hired on and no one love <laughs> used to no one love like i thought you were gonna talk about he's always breaking shit but okay no 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 that he declined, comes with he declined an autograph and a picture today to some really little kid it was a big really? fan. he's ev not like, responding to anyone like but hot moms on, now had his sunglasses on he was just like i don't take pictures <laughs> right now and I was like, I'll take one, I'll take one. I like, took one. But Evan was just rolling around with sunglasses on, <laughs> flat brim like that. I'm surprised you're not wearing your sunglasses right now. This is the first time I've seen your eyes in a while. Ev the other day. <laughs> Ev, Ev the other day. This, this is this is one of the best. This is one of the best things I've actually heard Evan, the new Evan, say. Ken gets his new Tesla. He's all feeling pretty good about it ken standing in the kitchen evan walks in flat room sunglasses on he goes hey ken why don't you take that fucking minivan to the grocery store and get some food for this place <laughs> <laughs> and i i quit what i'm i think i was on my computer i shut my computer <laughs> and i go did i just you can take that ken and ken i think drops what he's doing jeez and then he hopped in his little and minivan. And he hopped and in his minivan and he ran to the grocery store <laughs> no because he way. knew what was good for him. Evan's calling the shots around here now. I mean, that's a good thing, Evan. Who <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know? It's so fucking rattled he can't even speak. <laughs> yeah, you caught me off guard on that one. I thought I was totally going to get scolded for breaking stuff. So. Oh, no, that's okay. No, no. That's that, part that, of your job. That comes with the... We like it when you break that stuff. That comes with the trade that, that's basically in your job 
uh, definition, that employee contract that you signed that you, uh, um, we won't talk about that. The one I didn't read. Right. <laughs> There's a couple clauses. Well, I was going to read it, but it was like 10 I said, pages. don't worry about it. <laughs> I said, don't <laughs> worry about it. Especially the fine print. Don't even worry about that, Ev. You think I would take advantage of you and do you dirty? Obviously, no, you, you no. didn't sign the first one, though, right? <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, the first one, that would have fucked you. <laughs> Yeah, you had a second one in the drawer. I was supposed to decline the first one and be like, all right, here's the here's real one. Here's the real deal. All right. Okay, we figured you weren't dumb enough to sign <laughs> that one. That was a test. That one signed your whole life away. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> worth it. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Have you been a, actually a really good kid? In the comments, the people love you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear they like it. <laughs> 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 Uh, about the mom what are you talking yeah. about? What are you talking about? You're glad they like it. They, they love the Ev. The Ev, dude. He's the I am glad the they Ev. like it. <laughs> hey, you like it? Evan. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, God. There we go. Put your sunglasses, your back, sunglasses on, back on, dude. Yeah, that's much better. Oh. <laughs> oh, whose are these? Oh, now you're playing stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like the fucking three blind mice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're not wearing those. Sometimes Ken looks like the three blind mice. In the <laughs> <laughs> the circle ones. <laughs> you like it? Holy fuck, Ev. Now we got to get Ken a cane. <laughs> feel his way around. How do we look over here? Cheddar and Ivan. Dude, they're, they're fogging up. Fucking they're Elton. fogging up. We got fucking Elton John over here. Ev, Dude. do you get nervous on the podcast? Uh, I don't think I do, but then I just lock down and can't talk. So, yes. Yes, I think I do. <laughs> it's okay. Dude, on my first podcast, I didn't talk the whole time. I just sat here like this. <laughs> that's true. You did. 41 episodes later, I'm getting better, though. Yeah, just not. Dude, agree. that's so funny. Ryan didn't say a single word the entire podcast. Single fucking word, no. It's pretty funny. <laughs> And all the comments are just like, yo, Ryan gonna talk, man? <laughs> to be fair, we, uh, I feel like we were leaving no opportunity for anyone to talk because we were just trying to, like, yeah, it was, we were just trying to talk. Any and kind go. of blank space was like, we gotta talk about something. Hey, Ev, I, I do wanna actually ask you, how, how is, uh, being a part of the squad and, like, being here for what, three months at this point? Like, how is it? Four months. It's amazing. I mean, it's fun, like, every day. Like, uh, we're always getting into something, doing a lot of different stuff. I've never spent so much time on the water, which is kind of terrifying. <laughs> we're <laughs> going to get you those swimming it. lessons. We're going to get you those Yeah, we actually do now. need to get that. More of, I put that in the uh, employee contract that you didn't read. Well, yeah, to cover you guys, you should get me swimming <laughs> lessons. <laughs> you get to get faded and ride around on the lawnmower. That is my favorite thing. <laughs> and there is so much grass around here to mow, and we're only getting more out on the track. So, like, yeah, dude, you and you do spend a lot of time mowing. Yeah, you gotta I, come over to our house and mow. <laughs> wow, Can I employ you to do that? I'm gonna need a little bonus for that. That's fine. We might be able to work something out. What about the other bonuses we've been giving? <laughs> <laughs> he needs a box of teas over there too, right. preferably in the crisper, already cold. Yeah, and the, yeah, I do that. <laughs> what right, perfect? So, what is your favorite part about just like the life change like you just you just up and quit what you're doing for 10 years and now you're doing something completely different like could not be more polar opposite on so many different fields but like i don't know like uh, how have you taken the change you've seemed to adopted it extremely well um with everything that comes with it but was it more of like a, a hit right away where it was just like kind of like okay all right getting into the swing of things Nah, I don't think I was ever, like, shook or, you know, like, oh, my God, what's going on here? Um, but you guys have been super good. Like, if I need to do something, you tell me. Otherwise, I feel like I can always find something to, like, do. And then the fact that we have a dirt bike track, like, 100 yards from where I sleep every night is pretty amazing. Is that your favorite part? Like, just being able to ride dirt bikes and shit? Yeah, like, 7 o'clock. You know, starting temperature drops a little bit and just like hop on the bike, ride 20 seconds down the road and go rip motos on a pristine track. <clears throat> on a freshie. Yeah, on a brand new bike. I don't think uh, 
it gets any better than that. That is true. It's mm-hmm. pretty ideal. It is good to see you taking advantage of the track because, well, one, I can't ride because I'm not good. But, like, it's fun to see someone go out there and enjoy it and, and really rip it, you know. Especially in your free time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't take <laughs> you too seriously over there in your glasses. And, Ev, you have been... Keep them on. <laughs> <laughs> Ev, you have been a good mentor to Mike lately. Dude, honestly, you told me I needed to start getting Mike up earlier, but now I've been getting up later. I'm lucky <laughs> to be going by 9, 30, 10 o'clock. When I started, I was up at, like, 6. I know. I used to walk in the door at, like, 8, 30. Evan's up, dressed, ready, like, all right, what are we going to do? And I was like, listen, buddy, go back to bed. Nobody's getting here till 11. <laughs> it is so funny how quickly you just adopted our schedule. Well, well it's I pretty mean, easy. That is part of it. Like, I might as well sleep in a little later if nothing really gets going till like nine at the earliest mm-hmm. on average. Yeah. I appreciate my sleep. By like 10 a.m., you're breaking into the teas. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to wait till loose. noon. <laughs> when did you put that rule in place? Is that <laughs> <Is> that <laughs> new as of like right now? You know, whenever I'm thirsty, I think that's when it's tea time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can put a time anywhere on that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you are really bad at swimming and just lake sports in general, which it was such a blessing to find that you weren't good at something because you're so just naturally talented at basically everything we do mm-hmm. that's not involving water. Water. Right. Dude, the lake sports have been a total reality check because even if <laughs> and not I, that much, the buddy's ego is still just... Like, I don't expect to be, like, super good at it, but I'm fairly coordinated at (laughs) a lot of things. Like, I can step on a skateboard and just cruise down the driveway. But, like, a wake surfing, I can't do that at all. Like, I don't even understand it. To be fair, I don't think that really matters. (laughs) (laughs) In what? (laughs) Matters in what? In general, nothing fucking matters. (laughs) Nothing You're right, Ben. Matters. Nothing matters. Dude, I told CJ that yesterday. He was bugging out about something in the video. And I said, buddy, this isn't an Emmy-winning movie here. <laughs> it's, it's just for entertainment purposes. It doesn't have to fucking completely make sense like the it was written in scripture somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> I think the people like that, too. They, they can see the learning curve throughout the years, like everyone on dirt bikes. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be fun if everyone started out as a professional. Like as good as Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Dude, is my ego this yes. bad? Where is this it's... all coming from? We actually brought you on here to humble you. Evan, plug your ears. Okay. It's funny because Evan doesn't have an ego, but he's so easy to rattle and make him think that he does. God, that's why I'm fogging these Keep glasses. Him on. Like, you got so me sweating by here. <laughs> like, what? Have I really changed this much? Like, I'm just uh, going to go sit and look at myself all right, in the bring, mirror. Bring Nikki in. Bring her in. Hey, yeah. Bring and your fam- and the mom and dad. Aiden or uh yeah, John. <laughs> You're a good kid, Evan. Don't lie to me. You just need a little guidance. I don't know where we're going with this. I don't either, yeah. but I just still I can't take you too seriously in those glasses. Maybe Evan I could, but not you. Why? I, if you could see yourself, you'd know why. All right, Ev. You want to close it out for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Actually, thank you. I needed that. I don't know. I got to go shower. I'm sweating. <laughs> All, right. All right. And on that note, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. Every Tuesday, 9 a.m., unless YouTube is lazy, but 9 a.m.